And now I am going to give the chance to the audience to ask questions. Please. Sir, in the first row. Can you hear me? Yes, we okay. can, sir. Um, look, my name is uh, Don Johnson, and uh, I've had a long interest in this subject as Secretary General of the OECD. Many meetings with Kim Dae Jung in particular, who, by the way, did win the Nobel Prize for the Sunshine Policy. So I'm not sure you can say that there was not progress in the past, because after the joint declaration of, of 2000, there was a period when Kaisang Park was established, uh, the Hyundai Resort was established, uh, there were investments being made by numerous, uh, <coughs> numerous uh, South Korean countries in the park. And during that period, I suggested the real problem, or one of the problems, which takes me to your idea of reconstruction from Japan, is that the economy was a black box, and it remains a black box. And what's important, I think, for anybody to go in there other than mining companies and others, because there's some important minerals, is to understand the North Korean economy. Now, that's going to require uh, an economic review, which was, I, was, I was pushing for at the time. And the Americans resisted. Finally, they came around. I got a call from uh, Christopher Hill, the State Department, the Sixth Party Talks, said, look, the North Koreans now want development want capital, not just humanitarian aid. And uh, they said, that will need a review. And of course, I was thinking of an OECD review, and then I was told later that the North Koreans would never accept that because of the background of, of the OECD and so on. But nonetheless, that's going to be essential, I think, you know, to follow through with you. Who's going to put capital into reconstructing North Korea without a better idea of how that economy functions? Uh, yes, you may get, and I say the mining sector resources. That's on the issue of, the, of uh, a review. The last point I would make, though, is the one that you raised, uh, Professor, just now about tolerance. That's the issue of, um, of securitization. Uh, I read this book when I was making a speech on the 10th anniversary of the Joint Declaration uh, from Lim Dong Wan, I think it was, who was at uh, one time the Minister of Reunification, I believe. And the book was called Peacemaker, and I read the translation of it. I was very surprised to see that during the Sick Party talks, Russia has stepped forward and proposed that North Korea be made not a protectorate, but a protected state of the kind of thing you're talking about, guaranteed by the United States, guaranteed by Russia, and guaranteed by China. Uh, now, that struck me as being a very sensible approach to denuclearization. But, you know, from what we've heard from everyone, they're not going to give up their nuclear weapons, we're told at this point. And I was impressed by Lim Dong-Wan said, let's just get on with it. Can you get on with it? Can, can you help develop North question? Korea Sorry. while Sorry they still have nuclear weapons? Can we get on to the question? Separate those two issues. The Americans have never separated those two issues. So if you separate those two issues, if you have an economic review, Japan, everyone else contributes, invite investors in, I think that may be the way to go. But that's, you people are more experts on this than I am. Thank you. Uh, I would like to have a question from the next, uh, uh, do you have a question, sir? Yes. Okay, could you ask the question, please? Uh, je vais parler en français. Donc, uh, je considère que ce problème de Corée du Nord est vraiment... Depends, depend, the, sorry, sorry for interrupting you, but it depends on who are you giving the question, uh, because the French might be a problem for some of the panelists here, because there is no translation at this moment. Who are you asking? Alors, je pose la question à, à, la, Corée, uh, à la Corée du Sud. Voilà. Please go ahead, sir. Okay. Euh, je disais tout simplement que ce problème de Corée du Nord est vraiment un, un cas d'école en matière de relations internationales parce qu'on a tout d'abord au premier plan les états unis la Corée du Sud et la Corée du Nord et en second plan le, le Japon, la Chine, la Russie et la Mongolie. Et chacun de ces pays défend ses propres intérêts, et ça c'est normal dans les relations internationales. Alors, ma question euh, à, aux représentants de la Corée du Sud, est-ce que vous n'avez pas plus d'intérêt à vous entendre avec la Corée du Nord pour diminuer l'influence des États-Unis Et est-ce qu est que l'idéal, bien sûr, là je rêve un petit peu, 
Est-ce que l'idéal ne serait pas une conférence internationale regroupant à la fois les pays de premier plan, États-Unis et les deux Corées, et également Japon, Chine, Russie et Mongolie, pour essayer de trouver une solution à long terme. Merci. Thank you. Thank you uh, for the excellent question, uh, which is South Korea always faced, I mean, you know, uh, on how to resolve the Korean Peninsula issues. I mean, as you know, uh, geopolitically, the Korean Peninsula was surrounded by big countries like, uh, you know, uh, China, Russia, and Japan, far away, the United States. So. Uh, we made uh, various sets of uh, countries, I mean, uh, uh, to get together to resolve the Korean issues. I mean, uh, three, uh, three countries, North and South Korea and the United States, and uh, sometimes uh, four countries, uh, South, North, China, and the United States. And six party talks uh, we have tried, I mean, to resolve the North Korean nuclear issue. So uh, I don't think uh, there is, uh, you know, uh, the only uh, formula where we can, uh, you know, put uh, these questions and uh, to, uh, you know, uh, resolve the Korean issue. Now, uh, well, uh, the problem and the threat comes from North Korea. So uh, I think, uh, you know, we have to uh, have some international formula and, uh, uh, well, you know, some institutions, I mean, to take care of this uh, denuclearization, uh, you know, uh, problem. Uh, now, uh, my president, Moon Jae-in, uh, he, he's an ideologue and, uh, you know, uh, he wants to pursue inter-Korean uh, you know, peace through uh, three countries, I mean, first, I mean, North and South and the United States. Uh, after that, uh, we can be supported by China and Japan and Russia. So uh, there is no, uh, you know, fixed, I mean, uh, formula uh, for uh, doing this. But at the moment, uh, you know, what my president tries to do is to mediate between North Korea and the United States. But, well, it's a quite difficult, I mean, uh, job, uh, you know, uh, shouldered on him. Well, North Korea uh, hasn't changed, I mean, in, in, in terms of tactics, I mean, uh, brinkmanship tactics or salami, you know, slicing tactics. Well, uh, until we uh, really see the change of North Korea, uh, I think, uh, uh, you know, it is a difficult, I mean, task for my people. <coughs> so, uh, well, we would like to see some breakthrough, I mean, uh, uh, on this issue of denuclearization. Then we have to have some other countries joining uh, to make, uh, to establish peace regime on the Korean Peninsula. China was a party to the Korean War, so China should uh, participate. And Japan is the most, I mean, uh, close neighboring country, uh, which could play some uh, role uh, at the later stage. Of course, Russia uh, should do that. Thank you. Thank you very much. I'm going to, uh, I'm going to uh, ask the last question because uh, we ran out of time, but I do want to ask my friend, uh, uh, President Elba Dorge, this question. Uh, what do you expect uh, from the second summit if it happens? And it seems like it is going to happen. You know, in, uh, before the first summit, uh, I, I wrote peace in, uh, in my uh, Twitter and said, don't rush for the summit, first summit. I think we always forget. We always talk and we always, always charmed <coughs> by the leaders meeting. We always forget the poor people in North Korea. You know, don't forget those poor people in North Korea. I think uh, people think that the uh, leaders, political leaders think that they can have business uh, with the North Korean leader. And uh, I, I think only from that, from the first summit, one winner, there is Kim Jong-un. 
North Korean dictator. He got tons of the video. He got tons of the photo opportunity. Uh, there is no control in North Korean public relations inside sure of North Korea. Are you sure he was the only, uh, the only winner? And, because there's a, there may be another and, winner next week in America. And, and you know, if, uh, if someone sitting from North Korea, ordinary person or who are detained in Gulag, they might say that, don't be fooled, you know? Don't be fooled with our leaders. If, if there is only one solution, if there is more continued pressure, maximum pressure on North Korea, I think there might be solution. But there is no solution uh, when you have that meeting. I think don't forget those poor people. If there is economic assistance, I think uh, those people in a first circle, there are three circles. Kim uh, family circle, um, uh, 10,000 people, and Penyan circle and the rest of the country. The rest of the, of the country circle never going to get that assistance. Assistance became the weapon against them. And because of that, when you meet with the, with the North Korean leader, you have to raise issues related with their human rights, with the, with, the, with the issue, the situation, how those North Korean poor people are suffering from the uh, Kim dynasty, three generations. There is no such dictatorship in the world in modern history. Uh, from the grandfather to father and to, to the grandson. And I think uh, <coughs> if, if you put issue about the North Korean people in front of the North Korean leader, I think he might kneel. If you put issue discussing issues related with the nuke and, and sitting at equal level with the American president, he will always salvage. And don't be pulled to that. And that's, uh, that's a really bad idea. And, uh, I'm, I, I'm, I'm really, really, really hurt by this kind of meetings and negotiations and pot offs and but uh, North Korean ordinary people not getting anything from that. Well, thank you, Mr. President, and thank you, everybody, for this. It was a fascinating discussion. Join me in the round of applause uh, for our able panelists. Thank you.